My dudes, what's going on? Onyx statues have just been added to the game, so I thought it would be time for the ultimate statue guide. Anyways, let's get into it. A statue is a rare drop that comes from a monster or resources that will buff your character and will buff every character once you have unlocked a thing known as a golden sculptor tool. But to unlock statues first, you need to do the Town Marble NPC quest line located in the World 1 Town. They'll get you to buy a sculptor tool from World 1 Shop and you give it to them. Congrats, now you've unlocked statues. Take a statue they've got from a mob, resources, or even the shops, and you interact with the Town Marble NPC and you drag and deploy deposit your statues. Each statue can level up to give you even bigger bonuses, ranging from base damage to health to mining power to even more. There are 25 statues as of World 5, but all statues you deposit will only affect one character until you have the golden statue, which makes the highest level statue of each character merge together to make an account bound. To get this, the tool is known as the Golden Sculptor Tool that can be purchased at the World 2 shop. And you take the Golden Tool and you drop it in front of the Town Marble NPC. I guess now he's called the Statue Man. He will turn gold and you can open up a new tab and pay money to make statues golden so they are account bound for everybody. Now I'm gonna tell you the best sources to farm for each specific statue. I know that some statues drop from mobs, like how Power Statue drops from Carrot Men, yada yada, but to save everyone's sanity, we are just going to the best places. Power Statue that rewards base damage and Health Statue that gives you base health is best farmed at World 1 or World 3 Crystal Mobs. Bullseye, which gives you accuracy percent, is best farmed at Walking Sticks. Beastie, which is food effect. Beholder, which is crit chance. And Speed, which is movement speed, are best farmed at World 1, World 2, or World 3 Crystal Mobs. Lumber Bob, which gives you chopping power, is best farmed at World 1 Crystals and also Mining Nodes. And Mining Statue, which gives you mining power, is best farmed at World 1 Crystals or any chopping nodes. Anvil, which gives you production speed, XP Book, which gives you XP percent, and Cauldron, which gives you alchemy XP percent, are best farmed at World 2 Crystals. Old Reliable, which is catching power, is best farmed at World 2 Crystals and Fishing Nodes. Thick Skin, which gives you base defense, is World 2 Crystals and specifically the Palm Trees located at the Crab Cakes map. EXP gives you skill XP percent, which is best farmed at World 3 Crystals and the Monolith Quest. Kachow, which is an extremely rare statue, which rewards crit damage percent, is rewarded for the Picnic Stowaway Daily Quest at the Frogs Map and the Monolith Quest located in World 4. Ocean Man, which rewards fishing power, is best at catching nodes. Fox Statue, which gives you trapping power, are best farmed at World 3 Sheepy and Penguins. Two Soul, which is worship power, which is located at World 3 Sir Stash and Quenchies. Seesaw, which is construction XP, is best farmed at World 3 Blokes and Cairo Snakes. Forgive me if I butcher this next one. Pequena, which is monster cash. Mutton, which is cooking XP. And Egg, which is breeding XP, all best farmed at World 4 Crystal Mobs. And finally, Battle Axe, which is damage percent, Boat, which is sailing speed, and Spiral, which is divinity XP, is best farmed at World 5 Crystals. So for the majority of the statues, the best places usually come from Crystal Mobs, and it is best done with the Divine Knight. Just so happens, I have a Crystal Mob guide in the description and the tag right above me. For the statues that drop from normal mobs, like Sheepy or Quenchies, the best class to do it is with the Elemental Sorcerer. So the rule of thumb for statue farming and and loot farming is if you look at a card, anything on the first page is done with the Elemental Sorcerer. Anything that has to go into the rare drop table is better done with the Divine Knight. Also, drop rate. Run tons of drop rate. Here's a quick image of the best card setup for Divine Knight and Elemental Sorcerer. Now that we've explained statues, let's tell you how to juice them out. And to start, we have our best friend in the whole wide world, alchemy. Two things we want to hard focus on if you want to get the biggest bang for your buck with statue depositing. Start you EXP bubble, which when leveling up statues, the XP bar won't go down to a certain percent. So this will end up saving you hundreds, if not thousands worth in statues. And the vial known as Skinny Zero Cal. It gives you a percent chance to double all the statue deposits and with the rift bonus called Vial Mastery that for every level 13 vial you have gives every vial a multiplicative bonus. So you can get Skinny Zero Cal to past 100%, which will guarantee two times statues 
every single time you deposit. Next up, we have our V-Man talent called Statue Budification that boosts the power of all statues. We have other talents such as Shielded Statues that give power, mining, and defense percent increase, but Statue Budification gives all bonuses to every character, not only one, like the other statue talents. So if you get this bad boy up to 245, which is the current max, you will get a whopping 110% increase to statue bonuses, and it stacks with other tunes statue talents, which is completely absurd, but we're not even done yet. We have our final upgrade known as the Onyx Statue, which is the most recent and most likely the final statue upgrade. Onyx Statue will give you two times statue bonus and a stackable 10% statue deposit bonus for every onyx statue you have unlocked but how do we unlock onyx statues the monolithic npc is located at the flambeige in world 4 and is how you obtain the onyx sculptor tool the quest line goes like this 250 statue levels and 17 unique statues you'll need one of each statue and it doesn't get consumed, so you can transfer it quickly to your other tunes. The next quest requires you to have 20k power statues, which you could farm on your DK, I like the Born Beans map, and transfer to the other tunes, so you'll need 200,000 in total. Also, this is the place where the Onyx Sculptor tool is rewarded. And for the last quest, you have 100k of any statues, and it has to be done for that tune that accepted the quest. So here's a tip. If you are farming the 100k statues on another tune other than the Divine Knight, farming a mining node or a chopping node while running full drop rate will give you tons of statues. You can just AFK or time candy your 100k statues to make it an absolute breeze. Same as before, take your Onyx Sculptor sculptor tool, drop it in front of the statue man or the town marble, and congrats, you have the onyx statue unlocked, with the base damage one already upgraded for doing the quest. To onyx the other statues, you need to take 20k of that statue you want to upgrade and drop it in front of the statue man. Now you'll need to do this a total of 24 more times. Now let's get sweaty. Here are some huge tips for the onyx statue. You know how the Kachow statues are extremely rare? Well, that 100k statue quest will reward you with 10,000 Kachow chow statues per character so you get 80k in total after you 20k to make it onyx this is massive but what if i told you you don't want to deposit them yet if you hold off and only use 20k of them to upgrade to onyx and then you bank the rest until you get all the other statues to onyx this will give you a whopping 250 percent increase to statue deposits so if you have the base statues of 80k you would times this by 250 percent to get 200k but the 80k is added on top of that so 80k plus 200k you would have 200 and 80,000 statues worth of potency. But if you add skinny zero cal at 100%, that would make it times two. So you would get a whopping 560,000 Kachow statues worth for just a small cost of 80,000. So to make it easy, with max bonuses of skinny zero cal and aug statues, you would have times seven statue deposits. And that's not even including start you EXP bubble. Huge crit damage. There you go, my dudes, a ultimate statue guide. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to juice out that algorithm just like I juiced out this statue guide. Because my dudes, we're almost at 15,000 subscribers. Itty bitty army ain't so itty bitty anymore. But anyways, my dudes, I gotta get back to the guide grind. Stay tuned for the next Iolon video. Stay safe. Happy grinding. And peace out.